Well, hello, everybody, and hello, Brandon. Hey. Sitting out there in front of Environmental Services this morning. Checking it's a out. little chilly. You, you, you there to get a permit to clean up your garbage? I just, want to, I just want to go in with a positive mindset and see if I can get some more recycling done. I thought I'd talk to these guys here, so. <laughs> Did you bring in your turkey carcass and say, hey, what, where do I dispose of this thing? I don't think there was much left. I'm still trying to shed the weight from two weeks ago, so, you know. <laughs> Well, we welcome everybody to another edition of, of uh, Trash Talk here, and we have some enormous news. And all. we got a sponsor. Can oh, my gosh. Somebody sponsoring us. Hey, we want to shout out to David Jordan and his staff at Patriot Sandwich Company in Denton, Denton Texas. I almost said Florida there for a minute. Maybe soon. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's their next location. But uh, a big shout out to the guys. If you have not been to Patriot Sandwich Company yet in Denton, uh, they're over on Highway 288. Uh, and I'll just, you can Facebook them, you can uh, Google them and everything. Phenomenal sandwiches. I mean, you know, we're going to be talking about this on every show because they are so, so different, so great. They do things for our Patriots. They do things for our veterans. Uh, awesome. The, the the facility, the restaurant where they're at is so unique in, in the way it's set up. And yeah. we'll talk about some of our favorite sandwiches because it it's it's just a great place. Patriot Sandwich Company in Absolutely. And real quick, I just uh, before before I forget, I you know, I was I, I just happened to talk to David the other day and he said that if anybody goes in and mentions that they heard him on track heard us on trash talk. They get a free beverage, free Coke, free Dr. Pepper with any purchase. So that's an exclusive Trash Talk deal. Uh, go in, say, hey, we want to check you out. We heard you on Trash Talk. Bam, you got a beverage. And you get, it, you get an upgrade. How about, David, thank you very, very much. I mean, I can almost taste that sandwich right now. I know. Well, <laughs> but but visit, visit. And if you go there, tell, tell them you heard about, heard about it on Trash Talk. And get your free drink with your with your uh, with your sandwich, and I'll and give him a big thank you and uh, thank him for all the work that he does with our with our veterans. So, well, hey, we made it through Thanksgiving weekend. Sure did somehow. And now, now, now is the uphill struggle to the holidays, the shopping days ahead. And if we can get our get our our fingers off of the computer keypad long enough. Uh, to actually get out and do some shopping, we'll we'll do it. Yeah, I you know I I went this past weekend. I was brave enough because um, I hadn't you know I didn't worry about Black Friday too much. But I went on Saturday and I I made it out to Costco. You know, which is always crazy on a Saturday. I mean, it's it just insane. They had some really good deals going on. But the one thing that 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 always excites me about Costco is the samples oh, of everything. Yeah. I mean, everything. You can eat your way through the store. You don't got to do lunch or breakfast. And, and they're good samples. It's not just like try some M&Ms. I mean, they're, they've got the, the gentlemen and women there making, you know, roasting hot dogs and sausages. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. You, 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 kind, of gauge, you kind of gauge yourself by the line of carts in, in the aisle that they're backed up, you know, if, if there's if there's 20 carts waiting to get to the sample station, you know that whatever is there is going to be good. <laughs> we used to go, I used to take Luke a lot, you know, prior to the pandemic. Uh, we'd go and buy things there, you know, the, the paper towel, the toilet paper in, in bulk, um, just because it was cheap and Costco's great. And man, he was probably one or two at the time and he loved it. He would just stick his hand out and just be like, have it, have it. He didn't even care what it was. And uh, I do the same thing. I'm in line, like, whatever, man, just give me some samples. <laughs> they said, you know, the, the best time to go is during lunch or dinner. You're, you're not wrong. And then if you're still <laughs> you, hungry, you, yeah, you, you get a hot dog up, on know. the way out. Yeah, you know, what? One, one aisle's got, got some new new uh, uh, crackers or something. So you get, get a couple of crackers, then you go a couple aisles over, and they've got some cheese spread. And so you can get some cheese spread to put on your crackers. And all, and then, like you said, they're 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 cooking kielbasa over on 14, and swing by there and get get a little bit of meat. 
<laughs> well, and they had a really good one this past weekend. They had this new hummus, some type of hummus, and they had three different types. Well, that's three samples at one station, you know? <laughs> yeah. And do you, do you get your samples and all, and then go around to the back of the line <laughs> and come back? I don't, <laughs> I don't want to confirm or deny that I've done that before, but it, it's in the realm of my possibility. <laughs> now, sometimes I take a change of shirt with me and I go, you know, down one of the, uh, behind one of the aisles and I take off the one shirt, put on another one and, you know, oh, that just, was my twin that was here getting sampled <laughs> before. That's why you got to find some random kid and just grab him and say, my son, well, you know, you probably get in trouble for that. Don't do that. But <laughs> you can, <laughs> You can borrow Luke and take him. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, child, child for rent. You know. <laughs> get 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 some samples. And, and but you know, it's the best way to do it. Honestly, besides eating and all that, it really is the best advertising. I bought stuff, you know, on on, on the fly because I tried something. Yeah. It, you know, and and then they also have shows there, like you know, uh, they have a vacuum cleaner demonstration and show. Mm -hmm all the attachments that go with this vacuum cleaner and everything. And they usually get 40, 50 people around there. I'm, I'm old enough to remember, you remember Ron Popeil? I know the name, but I don't remember. I can't Ron picture Ron Popeil is, was, is an inventor of kitchen gadgets. Okay. <clears throat> the Vegematic. Yeah, and, okay. <laughs> and all those, all those things to make your life easier. And, and they, they still do that. You know, I mean, the Ginsu knife, Man, you go over there and, and, and it's kind of a prelude to getting food at the next aisle is there's a guy sitting there with a salami and he's showing you how you can, how you can slice this, this salami with a Ginsu knife, you know, just paper thin. And you're sitting there just salivating because you're not only going to buy that Ginsu knife, but hey, could I have a few slices of that salami too? Yeah. You know, they're just going to toss it out anyway. You might as well eat it. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. It, it's funny when you say that about the shows because it really is like a big deal. I mean, they'll call people over, they'll have them line up. They usually get some kind of coupon or if you buy now, you get a free gift. It's almost like a, a, a an infomercial live right in front of you, you know? Right. Right. And, and, I mean, they, they sell, they sell anything, you know, as, as long as it's got gadgets on it, you know? Yeah. That's cool. I, I, like rem I, I remember going and seeing a Roomba. Uh, demonstration and I, the kids really love that because they're he's sending this Roomba up and down the aisles to showing them how how it it, it picks up the dust and dirt and the kids are chasing this thing <laughs> you guys running it with this remote control <laughs> the Roomba was like the first robot you know that we could actually take home I had yeah. one for the longest time and I don't know what happened to it but um, you know, uh, the other thing too about sample or not samples or demonstrations, I guess you could say, um, I, when you're talking about gadgets, you know, Bed Bath and Beyond used to be huge for that. They would have so many because they've got some unique stuff anyway. Um, I remember going there and drinking the uh, the Nespresso, um, George Clooney's uh, Bingo. stuff, and oh my gosh, I was there. We were shopping for baby stuff at the time. I got lost by the Nespresso machine. And I was there, I kid you not, for 35, 40 minutes, not just drinking it, but but talking to the guy, I had questions. I didn't buy it. It's still on my mind somewhere. But I tell you what, when I left that store, I felt like uh, Tony Montana from Scarface. That's all I know. <laughs> I did I did the same thing, and, and it was exactly the same, same item. It was the Nespresso. And I went over and I thought, man, this stuff is pretty good. It's nice. It's 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 bold, it's 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 brisk and and it's right. caffeine. And I got to the store when they opened at 10 o'clock and, and I'm sipping the Nespresso and I'm shopping a little, I go back and I get some more Nespresso and shop a little more Nespresso and all. You know that they kicked me out at eight o'clock at night when, when the store store was closing because I was wired, man. I just wanna, I'm just throwing stuff in the cart that I never even needed. You got home in three minutes because you're doing 120 running. <laughs> yeah, you know, in fact, I don't even remember getting home. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, it's probably why Bed Bath & Beyond is struggling now because they gave you so much Nespresso, they can't afford it anymore. <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't think they sell Nespresso machines anymore because the, the, the people said, wait a minute, we've been giving out a lot of samples and nobody's buying the machines. It is really good, though. I, I'll be honest with you. I, that was one of my better days shopping for baby stuff, so... <laughs>
Yeah. And, and, and oh, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. I, I I like Bed Bath and Beyond because they got they got all those gadget those gadget islands. Yeah. Uh, you know you got and also and also they got that the movie the movie candy. You know, ten, ten boxes for ten dollars. You know, a dollar box. You know, the old uh, 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 Sam and, and Ike and 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 uh, uh, Goobers. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm a big I'm a big Snowcat fan. I'm an old it, school yeah. Snowcat. So is my dad. I think that's why I like it so much. But yeah, I'm a, yeah. so you know, sidebar, whenever I go to the movies, I'm just gonna say it. I always buy a box of snow caps before the movie, and then I sneak into the movie. Not sneak in, I pay for my ticket, but uh, I sneak it into the movies and I, I've gone and bought it at Bed Bath and Beyond before. Yeah. And you can always tell you can always tell when somebody has had snow caps because they walk out wearing it. You know? Yeah. It gets so, little flakes everywhere. Yeah, you know? the, those little snow yeah, drops. The, the, those, those little sprinkles are stuck to your stuck to your beard. I want them now. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about it too. In fact, I, I think when, when when the show's over, maybe I'll meet you over at Costco and we'll get some samples. And we'll buy a couple of boxes of snow caps. We'll get get some snow caps, get some samples. It'd be perfect, you know. You know what? You know they, some of the other places that samples that can get you in trouble, uh, and and in a way they've gotten me in trouble. Um, I've gone to Goody Goody. I don't go to Goody Goody as much as I used to. I, I, I prefer Total Wine now, but um, I've gone to Goody Goody and Goody Goody is notorious for having demonstrations. And the problem with it is you've got wine, vodka, whiskey, occasionally a local breweries there. So before you even bought what you came in for, you're drinking. <laughs> and then you gotta go, go out of the car. You gotta do a breathalyzer before you even get in your car. No. And then you get, and then you get home, and you, when you get home, then you finally realize what you went to Goody Goody to get, <laughs> because I know, you never got I, it when you were there. You got sidetracked. I've gone for you know a bottle of you know Jack Daniels just to get something low key or or I don't know Buffalo Trace or something. And next thing you know, I'm walking out with like five bottles of wine and a, a thing of brand new vodka that I don't even drink and. And <laughs> or or you get home and you open up the trunk and you, you you look in there and you think, where did I get all this liquor? <laughs> Market Street too. They're another good <clears throat> sample spot, um, especially around the holidays. Uh, the bakery, they always have cookies or donuts or anything great. They're sitting right there. They're super nice, so they're they don't care what you eat. And um, yeah, that's a that's a fun one. But and again, they have the wine. Right, right. <clears throat> or they also have the coffee samples. So you have a couple of muffins or donuts or whatever. You say, excuse me, I'll be right back. You go down and get a cup of coffee and then come back and dig into the donuts again. I, I've literally gone in to get bread and I've, <clears throat> I've, I've been there for an hour and a half. So, right. But now's the time of year, folks. Go get your yeah. samples for sure. <laughs> this is, let, let's face it. It's the one thing that you cannot do on the Internet. That's true. That's yeah. true. I know COVID, COVID has really put a damper on the sampling. They're still there. I've noticed they're just a little bit uh, different and it's, it's not quite as uh, the same or as open. They have packaged stuff and, um, but it's still there. They got to make their money. So, you know, go out there and get some wine at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you know, and, and we're talking about getting those samples at the sample station. It's, it's almost even easier now to do it because they're limiting the number of people in the stores at one yeah. time. So, you know, if, if everybody's supposed to stay six feet apart and all, you got more room before you get up to those food stations and there's less people there. <laughs> they're lying uh, outside waiting, waiting to get in. And they, hey, you know, it's, it's lunchtime. Come on, come on, hurry up. <laughs> right, come on in. Did you restock that pizza yet? I want to try it, you know? Yeah, I got to get back to work. Come on, I need my samples. <laughs> Samples have been huge for a while, though, you know, and, and displays have been such a big thing, such a big part of marketing for so long. And, um, you know, you know, the mall's notorious for that. Oh, talk, talk about not only not only in the stores, but even in the middle of the mall, uh, you know, the kiosks. I mean, you, you walk down the, the down the main aisles in, in, of these kiosks and, and, and they're grabbing you. Uh, for for everything, you know the 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 special the special wrinkle creams and and the new the new case for your for your your phone or the yeah for your iPhone phone and and you know and, and you can even you can even get 
uh, while you wait, get a custom made uh, embroidered app. <laughs> you know the thing that the thing that's rough about it though for me is or that I, I find annoying in those guys is you're walking down the, the, the mall, okay? And they're jumping out in front of you like some pop-up on the internet. And they're asking you about things that clearly you don't need. Like, do I need a, a, a hair curler or a new blow dryer? Like, I mean, do I look like the guy, if I don't have my hat on, I'm shaved, I'm bald, you know, do I look the guy that, that needs it? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, do I need a piece of exercise equipment that's got 12 exercises on it? <laughs> you, got a you got a better chance of selling me a nice new couch. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of, too? Uh, you've been to Vegas, I I'm sure, you know. Um, when you go to Vegas and you're walking down the street and they've got the flat, the flat guys there trying to get you to go to those, uh, you know, adult places. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. We said it down in the Florida Keys in 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 uh, Isla Morada. There was a place called Woody's, and they used to have billboards all down the highway because they advertised it as the only the only uh, place where the girls were completely naked, and all. And the the thing was that they put that billboard up in 1940, and that girl is still there at Woody's. Wow. She's, wow, she's, she's still dancing slowly, but she's still dancing. <laughs> she's on a Tuesday at lunchtime. That's what she is. She couldn't get the main shifts. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the Tuesday special. Yeah. You know, they don't want to discriminate just because of age. They can get in trouble for that. So they're really trying to be above board there. That, that's <laughs> But... Hey, you were talking about the about the malls. <clears throat> Try to get through any department store to, to get from the, you know, usually you, you park in the parking lot, you go in through one of the major stores to get to the mall to walk to the other stores. And what department do you always have to go through? Oh my gosh. The it's, fragrance department. It's like chemical warfare. <laughs> you know, and the, of course, the women go. The women go there for the same reason we go to Costco to get the food samples. They go there because every station they can sit down, and the girl will do a little bit of a makeover. Then they go to the next one, and they'll get the eyeliner. And by the time they they leave the store, they're ready to go out and party that night because they've gotten this whole new whole new look. But, but and then it's and then it's the the everybody wants to give you a spritz, you know. And 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 you're walking through there. By the time you walk out, it's it's like if you meet your if you're meeting your wife, you know, in, in in or your significant other in the mall, and you've just been through the fragrance department, she starts laying into you because she wants to know who you've been hanging out with. Yeah, yeah you you come out <laughs> smelling like you were at Woody's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It just got on a Tuesday. <laughs> I can't deal with it. And I like buying, you know, they've got some good deals on cologne. I mean, I still buy cologne online, but you got to navigate through there. And the worst thing is, again, these women there that are spraying the stuff are asking me, I got nobody around me. Uh, would you like to try this? Do, do I look like I want to smell like roses on a Sunday morning? I mean, like, and then, and then so I'm, a, I'm Italian, so I got some arm hair, you know? My arm hair is like shellacquered on my arm now. <laughs> Right. And not only that, but but you spray a little bit on the back of your hand and then a little on your wrist and a little on your on your upper arm. And and now you're trying to just everybody's walking around going like this. You like this one? You like this one? Wait, no, I think I like this one better. I th I think we should come up with a fragrance for, for trash talk. That's a thought. What do you think? Start start marketing our, our own our own fragrances, you know. How, how about for the women, we'll come up with a cologne called Dumpster Diva. <laughs> no, several girls that will buy that right now. Yes, you know, it, it's it's multi-multi multi fragrances. <laughs> yes. Multi. Depending on your mood for the day, it changes its 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 aura. <laughs> and you're at the factory right now. It's being produced. <laughs> that, that's right. You know, and 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 for the men. Eau de garbage. Ah, French. A, fr a French sense. Nice, we're going international. 
<laughs> yes, it, it's it's taken from the dumpster on the other side of the pond. <laughs> I hear their trash smells very different anyway, so. <laughs> So, so I like folks, it. And you know what? You could have one for the teens. You could have one for the teens. It could yes. just be called Euro Trash. And if we're know? really lucky, we could get it into Costco at one of the, the sample stations. People <laughs> come by and say, a little bit of eau de garbage for me, please, and some dumpster diva for my wife. Well, we, we could definitely get it into Woody's on a Tuesday. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In, in fact, wait. There's more, because <laughs> if you buy one bottle, you get three free. <laughs> oh, it's like a gift set for the entire yes. year. You're you're covered. It's a Christmas gift set. Yes. I like that. I can do that. <laughs> we'll have to start worrying. In the meantime, I think maybe I'm going to leave the trash dump and I'm going over to Costco because it's getting. I'm getting a little bit of hungry. I'm halfway there right now, so I mean, I'm just down the street. I'll tell you. I'll meet you over there, aisle 14. We'll get some of that sliced salami with the, from the Ginsu knife. Please, I'm starving. <laughs> Go out and make it a good day again. Thank you very much to Patriot Sandwich Company for sponsoring Trash Talk. And we will catch you again next week at the same time, same place. Go out and make it a good one.